You might think it's a risky move buying a sliding head machine without having any work for it. Well, here at Infinity CNC, they've done just that. So, Will, we're stood in front of your latest investment, a star sliding head. Yeah. But before we get on to that, can you give us a bit of an insight into yourself and Infinity CNC? So, Infinity CNC started about three years ago. Um, general subcontract machinists. Um, we do sliding heads, fixed heads, CNC milling, and a bit of a niche as well where we do CNC routing. So, can you talk us through some of the parts you make here? Uh, so, we're in all sorts of industries F1, a little bit, oil and gas. A lot of the router is like theatre and scenic, and then bits on the sliding head have been pretty much everything for every industry you can think of, really. A lot of people buy a sliding head when they have a lot of work lined up yeah. for it, not when they don't have any work lined up for it. Yeah, no, we didn't really have any work lined up for it at all. There's a few little jobs that we've done where, you know, we're doing like 100, 200, but then maybe we've been batching some of the jobs up, which were like a 50 off, so we'd make 200 and keep them in stock, and then hopefully the customer calls them off. Um, but it's an investment for the future, but we've managed to keep it busy so far, so. Tell me why you went for this model of machine, because obviously there's all different sizes you could have gone for. I think it's more for versatility. I mean, most of the parts we've done have been sort of under 20 mil, but there's been a few jobs that are above that, and it just gives us the, the flexibility to do more than parts just under 20 mil. But why start? I think it's just the background that I had with them. I already knew them fairly well. Um, the support is brilliant. I can bring Dan up at any time and he's back back to me within like 10, 15 minutes. If I call up service, they, they get back to me within 10, 15 minutes again. Um, normally someone's here next day if I want them here. So yeah, I can't complain at all. And that's great. Like you, like you said, somebody's going to be here next day. So this machine will always keep running. Yeah. Now, obviously first slide your head machine, they are quite different to program than anything else you have yeah. here. So what was the learning curve and how much support did Star give you to get this up and running? Um, so I believe we got seven days training with Star. Uh, we've used five of them so far and we've got another two days coming up soon. But the guys got to grips with it really quickly, to be fair. Um, I think the only biggest difference is working in Z plus and not Z minus. So to buy a machine of this caliber with no work lined up, has it paid off? Uh, yeah, 100%, 100%. Um, it's been maybe slower than some of the other machines in terms of orders, but we knew that when we brought it. It's paying for itself and we're making money on it, so I can't complain. And obviously with the, with the sliding head, you've got different capabilities than you had before. So have you been able to do work on this machine you wouldn't have been able to do without it? Uh, yeah, definitely. There's this one job we were doing on the fixed head it's a tiny little pin. I think it was taking us about seven minutes on the fixed, fixed head and we're doing it in less than two minutes on the slider. So obviously it's more cost effective to run as well, as well as yeah. giving you a faster cycle of time and getting more parts yeah. out of the door. Yeah, and effectively you get your second spindle for free really when you come to quoting, so. So does that make quoting easier for you, having this machine with its capabilities and the second spindle? Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, I still quote it very similar based to like a fixed headlay, but everything comes out cheaper because you get that second side for free.